I'm Austin and welcome to My Bodega. I want to introduce to you a new series of videos that I'm doing all about wine, on all topics related to wine. In this video series I will be exploring a range of topics including countries of origin, regions of production, those countries might include Spain, Germany, Australia. Regions of production would include the Bordeaux, the Rioja, the Rhone Valley, just to name a few. I'll also be talking about varieties of wine. Red comes in a number of different varieties, including red table wine, a very generically red table wine, uh, Merlot, Malbec, and Pinot Noir, just to name a few. Now, as much as I love red wine, I also like to drink white wine and rosé, so we'll be exploring some of those topics as well. I'll also be talking about tips for selecting a good bottle of wine. I'm always in search of a good bottle of of wine to drink. So that's mainly what this series is about, is the love of wine. So we'll be talking about uh, wine produced in various countries that are particularly good, uh, price, and we'll also talk about vintage. Vintage is really important as well. So stay tuned for much of those topics, and then also at the end of each video we'll be talking about a mystery wine, such as the one I have behind me, and in that uh, part of the, the video. I will open that bottle and take a drink and it also will give you my take on that wine. So stay tuned for that as well. Tonight's mystery wine is a red wine from Sonoma, California, Sonoma Valley. Uh, and uh, it is the Francis Coppola Diamond Collection Ivory Label Cabernet Sauvignon. Vintage 2016. Now we're going to talk about the vintage in later videos and how important that is in selecting wine because if you know a particular vintage of a country in a particular region happened to be really good weather and the harvest was good and the grapes grew well and, and all that kind of stuff that sort of figures into your selection of wine. So we'll, we'll talk about that. So, and also in case you didn't know, this is the director of Francis Ford Coppola, and he has a, um, a vineyard winery out in Sonoma, and they have a really nice line of, of wines uh, to choose from, and this happens to be the Ivory Label Diamond Collection. So we're going to open up this bottle, I'm going to take a drink, and I will give you my take on it. Okay, so we're going to open up this Cabernet Sauvignon 2016 Coppola wine. And I have this little instrument here, it's a corkscrew. And each one of these types of corkscrews has a little blade that you flip out the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip this little blade underneath the lip of the bottle and cut the foil. Like so. does allows you to take the foil and twist it off like so and flip the blade back on and then we're going to unfold this little appendage here and take the corkscrew out and apply it to the cork turn it until it's almost all the way down and then using this little ladder type appendage I'm going to kind of step it up and pull that cork out. And once it's about yay high, take the cork out. Put it on the side. That's how I open a bottle of wine. After I open a bottle of wine, I let it breathe a little bit. Five to ten minutes is probably good. Maybe an older wine might be a little bit, a little bit longer, but in general, five to ten minutes is generally what I give it to breathe. And breathing is probably another topic we ought to talk about in this video series. But as I've given it five ten minutes, I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Turn the bottle a little bit. Take the wine glass and swish it around just a little bit. Really nice 
really nice scent to it. A little bit of a sweet scent. It's got a nice darkish tinge to it. It's not really dark. I've seen some really dark wines before, but this is pretty good. I mean, still some light coming through. Nice sort of a burgundy light. Not bad. It's a little bit sweet, but uh, nice, nice aroma, nice taste. Out of a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it, give it about a six and a half or seven in terms of its drinkability, and uh, of course, you know, pairing it with a different type of food uh, is always a plus because certain wines match well with certain types of foods. So we can also talk about that. But I think in general, um, I like to have red wine with bread and cheese. Um, but I, I understand that red wine goes well with uh, red meat. And uh, well, of course it depends on the variety of wine. But anyway, there's a lot of options. So we'll talk about that as well. So I would say go ahead and buy this wine. This wine cost me about $15. And... Uh, Really nice wine. Coppola is a good brand. They have, they make very good wine, and I I recommend it highly. So good wine drinking, and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.